Our next guests uh, are cousins on TV and comedians in real life. They have a new show called This Fool. So, where's your ride at, primo? I let my homegirl borrow it. But don't worry, I got you. I'll call us an Uber. Uber is like the taxi of the future. Uber is like the taxi of the future. I know what Uber is, pendejo. Damn, talking to me like that. Actually, they have Uber in prison. Yeah. His name is Thumper. And if you give him a pack of cigarettes, he'll carry you around. Like, yeah. This fool is on Hulu now. Please welcome Chris Estrada and Frankie Quinones. <laughs> To see you guys, Frankie and Chris. How long have you known each other? Whew. Going on ten years now. Ten years. Ten years now. Feels How? Like Twenty though. It feels <laughs> longer. <laughs> to me, it does. This is kind of your dynamic on the show too, yeah, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. Yeah. A little love and hate thing going on. <laughs> <laughs> this show is based on Chris on your life. Is that? Uh, yeah, yeah, based, based yeah, loosely okay. on my life, and uh, yeah based loosely on my life. It's based on your life, and um, how specifically is it based on your life? Like, You know, I think it's, uh, I would say probably 50%. It's a character, the guy who I play lives at home with his mom. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all women in the house, he's the only guy. Gotcha. He has an older cousin that got out of prison who used mm -hmm. to be a gang member, and that was based off of my real cousin, and Frankie really gets, it, gets in there and plays that. Does your real <laughs> cousin like that Frankie is playing him? Yeah, he does. He does. My real cousin is a fan of his. I, my real cousin's probably a bigger fan of his than he is of mine. Oh, OK, all right. <laughs> I was nervous to meet him, though. I got to meet him. Were and I was like, hey, we're cool, right? Like, <laughs> Did you watch him and study him and go, like, all right, I'm yeah. going <laughs> to. Really, not too close. I don't want to get caught staring. I was like, hey, uh, right. nice to meet you. Was that a real prison you guys were in front of? Yeah, that was Wayside over in uh, Pitch's detention center. Was it happening? Was it like, were things going on? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. They were moving some prisoners around while oh, we they were. Oh, they were? Yeah, <laughs> that was just a little front. conscious yeah, filming yeah, yeah. in front of. Yeah, front like, of did the guy around. see you getting dabbed with makeup and stuff <laughs> yeah, like that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so you guys get this show and mm -hmm. you pitch this show, yep. and you was the part written for? Did you? I mean, like, did you have um, Frankie in mind for this part? Uh, originally, not. I think originally we were thinking of the of the part a little more like on the nose, a big tall guy that's like all tatted up and whatnot. And what you find about those guys is when they make fun of you, it doesn't feel funny. Uh -huh. <laughs> it feels like, oh, they're going to kick my ass. And, you know. That's interesting. Yeah. yeah, it's like one of those little, like, Just dynamics. Little detail, yeah. And the show is it's, it's very funny and very well put together. It's mm, really, like, yeah. uh, very, very precise. Yeah, and when we couldn't find someone to fit that role, I was friends with Frankie. He used to take me on the road with him. He's a stand-up comedian, uh -huh. so am I. And, used to take me on the road, and me and the showrunners uh, thought, we should audition Frankie and see what he can do, and he killed it. Yeah. Good yeah, thing you took him on the road, right? <laughs> yeah, all right. Hey, thank you. Yeah. What were you guys doing um, when you were, like, starting out uh, doing stand-up? You, did you have, like, a regular job? Yeah, I was working at a warehouse uh, while I was doing stand-up, and then you were busting tables, right? Yeah, I was busting tables, delivery food. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and, oh, and you... <laughs> were you, like, an Uber guy? Uh, well, like a, you know, Postmates, yeah, delivery, uh -huh. yeah. sandwiches or whatever. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Postmates fans, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I was working at a warehouse. And you were yeah. working at a warehouse. And what were you yeah. doing at the warehouse? I was just unloading trucks. Um, you know, I was trying to get a forklift driver's license. I didn't get it. I failed. You Did know, you? Failed. Is it yeah. hard? OSHA didn't pass me, no. OSHA, OSHA is what passes you to get a forklift driver's license. It was hard. Harder than I expected. Is it like a, is there like an instructor sitting next to you or they watch you or yeah, is it a written thing? they're watching thing? you, lift pallets, all that. I and you were bad with the forklift, huh? I was huh? bad with the forklift. They said, you, why don't you manually unload trucks? And <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's a good thing the acting thing worked out because, yeah. you know, yeah. yeah. If it doesn't, I better, you know, take that class again. <laughs> <laughs> is it true you told the people at the warehouse that you were on, they were on Undercover Boss? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what to do with my time, and I never, <laughs> I was like, I didn't want to tell them that I was a comedian, because I didn't, I don't think, one, you don't, you don't want to tell somebody that you do something else while you're working, because they're just like, you're a comedian? Yeah, who cares? Unload this truck. Right, you know? yeah, yeah. Be like that. Right, yeah. But 
So I would find ways <laughs> to entertain myself, and I would go up to my coworkers and go, hey, uh, don't look over there. There's a camera, but I'm actually with undercover boss, you know? And I would let them know that I was one of the bosses. Did anyone believe that? Nobody believed Nobody, Nobody believed it. They, <laughs> they would always tell me, stop talking to me. The more you talk, the less faster we unload this truck, you know? Do the people you guys work with now go like, uh, oh, wow, you really, I mean, like, people yeah. at the at the warehouse, like, go, yeah. hey, you really are a comedian. Yeah, <laughs> some of them have messaged me recently and said, why didn't you tell us you were a comedian? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what but, about you? You were alone in the car, really, so, um, I mean, you don't have yeah. coworkers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was just going around delivering sandwiches, meeting people then. And then it was funny because Chris was at the job, but I started getting gigs. I'm like, hey, you want to go on the road with me? He would have to request days off from the, from the warehouse. You know, I'm like, hey, make sure you get the days off. But I would be delivering the most random things. And I, sometimes I would get celebrities. You know, I got like Robin Thicke one time, delivered some sushi to him. Well, you I did? Was like, oh, hey, Robin Thicke, what's up? He's like, hey, little dude, here's a $20 tip. <laughs> I was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> like walking out, I'm like, I'm a I, comedian, <laughs> I swear. <laughs> like, can know. I ask you a couple of <laughs> things to like when you're, with the Postmates, do they prefer, is it better to tip in cash or to put it on the app? And do you have any idea how much, because I always like feel like, I wish these guys knew how much I was tipping them. Yeah, no, well, at the time I was doing it, it's been a little while now, but uh, I would, you could look and then be like, I would be driving to my next spot and then I would look and see if this guy tipped me. You know? Oh, like, you can tell. Like, I got a good vibe. And how did Robin do tip-wise, do you he remember? He tipped me $20 cash. Okay, yeah, yeah, all right, yeah. good, all right, good. So, yeah, I noticed you made you, the little move. And oh, like, man, Robin's generous. <laughs> I'm yeah, doing it wrong, yeah. you know that. Well, congratulations to you guys. Thank I you. tell you a story. I was driving by um, your billboard, and yeah. I had not heard about your show, and I saw, and I go, I want to watch that show. I like the title, This Fool. Yeah, This Fool. It's a That's, good title. Oh, thank you, that really means a lot. We're both fools. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being foolish enough to come here. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, it's on Hulu. It's called This Fool, Chris Estrada, and Frankie Quinones, everybody. We'll be right back with music from Young Gravy. Ta -da -da.